Hello everybody, Switch Biker. This video is going to be for Fat Bob UK. He was asking me what my helmet camera setup was. Uh, right here I have the uh, GoPro HD. I have the helmet mount. I'll put the part numbers in the description. But you can find this helmet mount in the uh, GoPro website. Just a standard GoPro HD. I've got a 16 gigabyte card in there. Of course it doesn't matter. You could have an 8 gigabyte heart card and you could still get about almost an hour's worth of footage I think at the full 1080p <coughs> um, to the front of my helmet I've made a small modification you can see this wedge shape thing right there all that is is uh, that's some uh, epoxy putty that I formed into a web uh, uh, shape like that and it's actually contoured to the very uh, front of my helmet and I have some 3M adhesive tape underneath there. I've got a standard GoPro flat mount right there. Uh, the camera just clips right in. And the reason I need the uh, helmet mount instead of just a regular flat mount is because you still need room for your visor to open, open and close. If you can see right there, is actually and also uh, advantage to having your camera on the front of your helmet uh, you could pretty much set the angle of the back of the camera to the same angle that the visor is at and you'll be correct and level when the helmets on your head uh, for voice recording since there's no external mic option on the uh, GoPro um, let's talk about that for a minute I've actually emailed GoPro and ask them if they were gonna if they planned on putting an external mic because I knew a while back that they were testing out a uh, like a Bluetooth style thing uh, for external mic but that didn't work out but there's some modifications on YouTube where you could take the external mic out of here and you could wire it right into your helmet but to be honest the sound quality sucks this internal mic on this when you take it out it's horrible it's not a good sound so the next step to get good sound is a voice recorder this one's pretty small I bought this at Radio Shack you could probably get it just about anywhere else it's an Olympus digital voice recorder WS600 and the thing is with this the reason I got this instead of the cheaper version um, is because it has an adjustable uh, mic sen microphone sensitivity and with the motorcycle running and all the noise around you and exhaust, if you have a loud exhaust or anything, you're going to want to set this on the lowest uh, mic setting so that you don't overdrive the, the, uh, the gain on it. Uh, if you overdrive the gain, it'll just sound like distortion and it'll sound horrible. Okay, um, personal computer microphone. Pick this up at Radio Shack. It's just Radio Shack brand GigaWare. Um, you could use a standard lapel mic, but the problem with the lapel mic is most of them uh, need a battery. They're like electrolyte -like condenser mics, and they have a battery, and it's just one more thing to worry about. This does not require a battery. It's got a little on-off button on it. That's the only thing I don't like about it is you got to make sure that it's on, and you got to make sure that that's recording when, when you're rolling your camera. Uh, this microphone... I'll usually run the uh, wire through my cheek pad and I'll mount the microphone. I've got a little bit of double sided molding trim tape on there. I'll mount the microphone right up here above my eyebrow. I don't know if you could even see that. Okay, so it's, it mounts right there and it just sticks there. And this tape, as long as those surfaces are clean, you could dismount it and remount it. Um, I'll run this through the cheek pad. I'll just undo the cheek pad and down past my shoulder. This here, I have a piece of uh, dual lock 3M tape. Very heavy duty uh, style of uh, dual lock. And I have the other piece on my motorcycle. And I'll show you that. Don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well. But I'm going to give her a shot. Ah. Oh, that was tight in there. Got my other bikes here. 
got my Harley right here. Okay, if you can see, right here on the uh, very bottom of the uh, tank panel, I've got another piece of dual lock tape. And uh, when I'm riding, I will just take this and stick that right to there. And it stays there, it's solid. I could reach up, I could uh, use the buttons, I could uh, turn it on and off, record. And the best thing, I could see if it's actually recording because I've gone out riding before and did my recording and nothing came through. All I got was a bunch of wind noise from uh, the helmet cam. So that's my setup. Um, if you've edited video before, you'll know that uh, you need to bring the audio file and the video file together. Uh, you could do this with regular Windows Movie Maker uh, program, but I use Sony Vegas Pro. But uh, Windows Movie Maker will work too. All you do is take this audio file, which comes out uh, MP3. You take the video, and you sync up the uh, sync up the audio and video. And if you don't know about syncing, you could Google that, and you can find out how to do it. So, anyways, that's my setup, and we'll catch you later for this request for Fat Bob UK. Later.